Hello everybody, this is Lucas, a frugal landlord. Now we're going to be taking the axles and putting them on the free mobile home so that we can move it 30 miles. In the next video, we're going to be moving the home. So look for that. So I can get one bolt in, but again, I'm going to have to jack it up to get the other side on. See how that's making that closer and closer every time I jack. Yeah, I might have to get another jack to jack on that side. So because I didn't have this flop down and I've already got it halfway installed, I gotta okay. And I'm gonna put this on first and see if that makes it easier. the other way then. There we go. We're gonna have to jack this one too because... So, uh, apparently the this part is way thinner than this part and this will, if you get in the middle, better to be a, on a cross brace like that so okay trying to jack by a cross beam now now it's not flexing as much I don't think Now I'm gonna go to the other side. <laughs> so I got all the I got all the bolts in and now I just have to tighten the ones that I put in. get them too tight but Now we're gonna jack it up to get uh, the wheels on. We'll be able to compress the spring. We'll probably need to get it up eight inches, but we can compress the spring four to six inches. So we really don't have to jack it up as much as it looks like. Although that's solidly on the ground because it's not spinning. This one can spin. So we'll start on this side since we're already jacked up high on this side. Well, we're already already jacked up a little bit okay so we've got two jacks under here and then if you jack the uh, axle up to compress the leaf spring um, then you can get um, hopefully get your tire on 
without jacking the whole frame up too much. So that's what we got going on. I'm about to see how, how close I'm going to get real quick. tire here okay tire incoming I'm thinking I'll have to go up some more but probably not too much yeah another four three inches four inches three inches okay we've got it two jacks and then one trolley jack under the axle and we've got it up enough the way these work is you want the bevel edge towards the rim and you see I didn't take them all the way out you could probably leave three of them in there take two out get it threaded in there right So, make it easy. Make sure they're all going the right way. Also some some things I'll show you I gotta spin that axle there's a knob there I guess that's to keep you away from the valve stem there's a little knob there I got it now too much flex in the shaft of that extension to get the not that it's really that hard it's just okay you want to do them equally because that helps it center it before they're torqued down that it's all bottomed out on all of the things so that's good and then you want to torque them down real good after after you get all of them on okay we're done with this one for i haven't torqued it down yet but i'm gonna get on the next wheel since i got it all these two jacks in between all three now i can just use the trolley jack to jack each axle that down.
see how it's taken taken the weight from that one show that when I jack it's taken the weight off of that one I see even though I've got too much weight gotta jack it a little bit more on this side That might be high enough, I don't know. I'm just gonna try a little bit more. Okay. I just need to go get a wheel. Yeah, I think we got it high enough. Yep. So make sure enough for now. See if you can do it with three on there. I don't know. I thought you could. There we go. Oops, you gotta be on the outside of the wheel too. There we go. Okay. Oh shoot. Sorry. It's okay. You hit me. So yeah, you can do it with two you off. Sorry. It's okay. It's really not okay. to the next side okay we're going to take the jacks off this is the front jack oh shoot i should lift the back jack okay here we go next one okay we are on the tires on this side so we got a jack here and then on the other side of we're going up. You can see what we're doing.
go to the other one. Just do a little bit at a time, obviously. We're also sinking into the dirt there, so. Hard to get up high enough. I'm getting, I'm getting closer, but I think we still need to go up more. But see our boards are sinking down into the dirt, so. Yeah. I'm getting close to the top of this jack, so hopefully, I mean, we're almost to the top, so hopefully we'll get there soon and we'll have enough lift. Okay. Oops, sorry. It's okay. close we are. Okay, let's try it. I know we're not. We're so close to being able to get that bottom on. Bunch of dirt in there. Okay, it is pulling it down, so even though we got it close, and that was close enough. not considered torque down but you can see uh we got it within a uh, quarter inch or so and we were able to push it on with just the lug nuts even though it wasn't all the way down so i'm leaving that jacked up and i'm just going to move my trolley jack floor jack trolley jack whatever you want to call it I don't know. That's the genius thing about these wheels is it aligns itself. You don't have to, you don't really have to uh, do much aligning. All you do is just get it close. And that's usually good enough. As long as you got it seated down on the back of the wheel. This one is not up high enough. So we need 
jack some more. I think we're almost to the top. That's the top. Jackson, no way, darn it. Okay, we got it close enough. Um, like I said, you just have to get it close and make sure they're going the right way. side but I think it will yeah now it is once you torque it down that'll center it they want it from 85 to 95 um, foot pounds But we'll torque those down later at least it's seated down inside the rim Hopefully we just can hit the trolley jack and it'll be enough I think so I've seen these put on um, when I've taken them off before. I've seen people put these on wrong many times. So you want it, you don't want it like that one. You've got to have that turned around. tires. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching everybody. If you like mobile home stuff or investment in real estate, subscribe to my channel. Mostly I do DIY renovations of mobile homes. If you like that sort of things, subscribe. The next video will be probably moving that free mobile home. I think we're moving about 30 miles. So wait for that video. It'll be coming up next.